All right, so we're going to talk about a different kind of inheritance today. We talked about uh, interfaces, and if you remember, interfaces are basically just a contract between you and the compiler uh, that your class, if it implements an interface, will in fact implement all the methods in an interface. Now, the nice thing about interfaces is that you can, uh, a single class, excuse me, <coughs> can implement multiple interfaces, but an interface cannot have fields, it cannot uh, have uh, implemented behaviors, and so there is a different type of inheritance where you extend a parent class. So you develop a, a kind of uh, core parent class that has semi-generic behaviors, and then you intend to implement uh, subclasses that inherit behaviors from that parent class. So that's what we're going to do today. So I have this uh, project called Intro to Inheritance Tutorial. And I created a runner class just to like play around with our objects. Well, the first thing we're going to do is to create um, the generic class. So we're going to create a new class. We're going to call it generic animal. And this class is going to have some of our basic behaviors. Um, it uh, will have some fields. And initially, we're going to make these fields private so that I can demonstrate some stuff about inheritance. Private. Uh, string name, so our animal will have a name, and it's going to have a private string sound, and a private string movement, provate, private. Um, our generic animal will have a constructor, so public uh, generic animal and uh, this constructor doesn't need to take any uh, parameters so we're just gonna say name equals generic name sound equals you guessed it generic sound and uh, movement equals generic oops generic movement and now, um, one thing, a uh, concept I want to cover here also actually is the idea that you can have multiple constructors. Uh, are we going to get to that now? Yeah, we, we're going to do that right now. So you can have multiple methods with the same name so long as they do different things or take different, or so long as they take different parameters. Um, so we're going to have a public generic animal, a second constructor, but this one is going to take some parameters. It's going to take a string called name a string called sound and a string called movement and it is going to take those values of whatever was passed over and store them in this name in this sound the this means the one that's created when you when you use this constructor this the field this sound equals sound and this dot movement equals movement so you can have multiple constructors so long as they each take different parameters. Um, and that's really handy sometimes. And you have already played around with that. Like different methods can have multiple iterations or versions. So you knew that with substring. There are different versions, and we'll talk about that more. But just know that it's true. Now we need some getters and set, uh, getters and setters. OK, so let's just auto-create those, because I don't want to take the time. Uh, to do it, so you can just say get name, and then this one will be create getters and setters for sound, get sound, and uh, movement. I'm not even sure if we're going to use these. Um, yeah, we'll use some of them. So we'll do, we just auto created uh, get name, set name, get sound, set sound, get movement, set movement. Okay, so this is our uh, super class, our parent class. And now we're going to make a particular version of this. So we're going to make a more specific animal. And I'll start out by making a cat. So the cat class, all you have to do is say extends generic animal. Now all of the stuff, extends just means I get all of it. I want all of it. So we have these fields, we have these methods, right? 
we have access to everything. So let's set up a constructor for our cat class, uh, public cat. Actually, um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, so, and we'll have this constructor take a specific name, a string sound, and a string movement. And I want to store it in the variables that were created over here. Remember, cat is a type of generic animal. So um, it has access to everything in the generic animal class. Um, so let's take this dot name equals name. This dot sound equals sound. And this dot movement equals movement. But it's angry. Something is going on. We don't have access to these fields, uh, name, sound, and movement. We should, because this, you know, our cat class extends generic animal, but we don't. And we don't because the private keyword says only a generic animal, part of this class, not something that inherits, no subclasses, nothing else. Only I have access to these. If you want, on the other hand, the subclasses like cat, or if we made a dog class or a other, you know, fish class, to have access to these things, we don't use the private keyword. We use protected, and protected says this me, the generic animal class, and all of my children classes have access to these fields. And so now, if we go back over to the cat class, we see that in fact. Now the compiler is not angry with us because it knows, because this is no longer private, they're protected, that cat does in fact have access to them. Okay, here's another concept from inheritance. Um, if you have a parent class and you're designing subclasses, one of the principles of um, programming generally, especially uh, like object-oriented programming, is uh, do not repeat yourself. Um, don't repeat yourself. Try. Um, so the idea being um, that you should not have um, code that is uh, already elsewhere in your program. It shouldn't have to be repeated. You should be able to access it with anything that needs to use it. Do not repeat yourself. And so if you notice right here, there is something that's being repeated. We have this cat, which is a subclass of generic animal, but it has this constructor that does the same thing as its parent class constructor, right? This is a constructor that looks very similar to that constructor. Private string movements, so why are we repeating? Well, we shouldn't. And the way you uh, get away from repeating it is you call super, which is a reference to the parent class, the super class. Um, so for cat, the super class is generic animal, and we just pass over the values and we let the super class take care of it. So now, all the work has been done for us. So if anybody comes in and creates a cat, the cat class just calls the parent class's constructor method and says, hey, deal with these variables for me. So just do, do whatever we should do with them. And that's just something you have to design. One final part of uh, this video tutorial is that um, subclasses can have unique properties. And so uh, we're just going to create one additional fields, um, field, uh, additional fields, we're going to put it here, additional fields, um, and they can have additional methods and additional fields. So in this case, we're going to have a private string called fave toy. And so the cat any cat animal will now have a favorite toy, which a generic animal does not have. A generic animal does not necessarily care about toys. And we're going to add a string to our constructor, fave toy. And but we can't add it to the generic animal super constructor because the generic animal does not have a field for a favorite toy. Only a cat class does. And so, um, but we want to do something with a favorite toy when somebody passes it over in the constructor. So we say this dot fave toy equals fave toy equals the one that was passed over. So we store that value here. So if you're going to use the super constructor, it must be the first thing called in the constructor method. And then you can do other things in the constructor method down below. And we also want um, a getter method for the um, 
favorite toy, which you're going to see why in a minute. I'm just going to demonstrate some things with these animals uh, in just a second. But we want public string get fave toy uh, return favorite toy so that you can see some stuff going on uh, with these with these classes. So this is just like the construction of these classes. In the next video, I'm going to show you actually how to play around with them.